Hey guys, welcome to A Coastal Alive. Um, I'm coming in today to talk about Mommy Daughter Chronicles, and then I'm going to talk about the I'm a Writer uh, webinar series. Webinar 3 is tomorrow. Um, and then the last thing that I'm going to do is talk about um, expanding myself to learn more about my niche market. And... Um, you know, the kind of research that I've been doing to um, get a better understanding for my market, get a better, um, yeah, I guess get a better understanding. So anyways, um, moving into Mommy Daughter Chronicles. So Maddie is um, still not walking on her own. She doesn't have the confidence just yet to do it on her own, but she has a lot more interest in her walker. And I'm really hoping that soon she'll be able to actually like navigate the walker. Um, like when she gets into a dead end, um, when she's moving around, she doesn't really know how to get out of it. So she looks to us to do it. And I'm hoping that eventually she'll, you know, be able to kind of tilt it a certain way um, to be able to do it herself. But I'm hoping that she walks soon. She's a late walker. Um, and to my knowledge, um, taller babies tend to walk later than... Um, Babies who are shorter. Maddie is the size of a two-year-old right now. Um, she might actually be taller than some two-year-olds um, because she's just really long. So her balance is a little bit different and she's like slim naturally. So she's trying to figure out her body in that way. And so we just giving her her time and her space. Um, she's like really enjoying the walker. So I'm hoping that, you know, within a month or two, she'll be like, all right, I'm, I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to walk on my own without any assistance. So we'll see. Um, yeah, we just cross on our fingers at this point. We got a hold of her acid reflux. Um, and she's doing much better. I told y'all before she's on, um, medication for her acid reflux and she has to take it three times a day and that's made a really big difference um and she's been able to keep down her food so that's about it with maddie oh actually no she's throwing a lot more tantrums um i'll be trying to catch them on camera y'all be seeing them sometimes too uh she's throwing a lot more tantrums and um She's in the stage of, you know, being a little bit rebellious. She doesn't like when we tell her no. Um, and, you know, she tries to get her way. And if she doesn't get her way, then it's an issue. Apparently, um, hey, Stephanie. Apparently, they have their terrible tools earlier now. I don't know how she's gonna be so far she has a little temper um so i'm hoping that it doesn't progress but like we'll see uh, stephanie you know what i'm talking about <laughs> um but she definitely tries to like hit at us and swipe at us um when she's frustrated and so i just have to you know be consistent and reinforce no hitting we don't hit um and i'm like oh lord i really just be one to but I can't. Um, so, yeah, we just, like, going through this phase. She's getting older. And um, she wants to challenge us a lot more. So, it's just about us standing our ground and being consistent and constant. And her understanding what's right and what's wrong. And kids know what's right and what's wrong. Um, she does throw herself on the floor. Um but she likes to really, like, once she drops on the floor, then she'll get on her knees and, like, bounce up and down. Sometimes she does throw herself on the floor. But the funniest thing that she does is get on the floor, like, her stomach on the floor. And she, like, 
pushes herself backwards and like slides around and it's not even like when she's having a tantrum it's just when she's like playing by herself and it is the weirdest thing <laughs> but it's also really funny and entertaining but the floor is nice and slippery enough for her to really like make make it far sliding across the floor backwards I'm going to try to catch that on camera, but it's strange. <laughs> it's strange. Um, yeah, that, I would say, is what's going on with Maddie, for sure. That's her new thing, is getting on the floor on her stomach and just sliding backwards. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, all right, so tomorrow is the I'm a Writer um, webinar series, webinar three. I can't believe we're on web uh, webinar three. Tomorrow I'm going to be talking about how to earn multiple streams of income from your book. So I've learned, or I've had to learn, that me relying on book sales is not enough. And I have to, oops, let me put my phone on vibrate. I always forget to do that. And everyone's like, put your phone on silent. It's always making noise. <laughs> All right, so anyways, um, I've had to learn that um, relying on book sales is not enough, and I need to create other ways to make money for my book, and that's what I'm going to be going over. One of them is speaking engagements. Um, that's the only one I'm going to, you know, mention right now, but if you download the free ebook copy of Back to Gukren to Me, you will get access to the third webinar for free. After the third webinar, you can subscribe for the low-cost subscription service on my website, and link is in my bio. Um, and basically, every two weeks, I come in and I basically have a webinar set up on you know being the best uh, writer, author, and brand that you can possibly be, especially if you go the self-publishing route, which I have decided to do. Okay, and the last thing that I'm going to talk about is um, I've pretty much um, had the opportunity to kind of take some time and um, go back into the learning stages of my niche market and kind of understand you know the market that I'm in how it works what other people are doing and um it kept bringing me like the more research I was doing the more it kept coming back to me that I needed um that I need to write a book series and um Asa my oldest brother even told me that I need to he's like you need to write um a fiction book um, that's like a series. So I thought about that and an idea clicked in my head, but I'm already working on um, two books. I'm already working on Dear Nice Girl and Why Every Pregnant Woman Should Write a Book. Dear Nice Girl is going to release first. I actually, um, I do have Snapchat. I do have Snapchat. My Snapchat should be Nantichi A N Y A N. T A K Y I A. Let me type it in real quick. But yeah, I have Snapchat. That should be it. Um, but yeah, um, it, uh, the, an idea clicked to me on exactly what I'm going to write. And it's going to be a fantasy fiction. And I'm just like, I can't believe that I'm able to be in a position where I get to write book uh, books back to back. I never, ever, ever thought that I'd be working on two books in one year. Um, and I'm just so blessed to be able to do that. And right after I'm done with Why Every Pregnant Woman Should Write a Book, that's when I'm going to start working on my book series. And all of this is in an effort to continue to uh, build my brand, but also to build a strong audience, um, especially if you have books that um, are in series, that's content for your audience to keep going back to. And I'm, I'm excited, you know, I'm excited for what's that, what that's going to be. Um, 
be like and I can't wait to drop some hints and some sneak peeks and just engage with you guys and interact with you guys on that whole process so yeah um I feel like I'm back into the learning stages you know I've learned um, what I've been able to learn so far, but there's always more to learn. And I'm also being really patient with myself. I can't learn everything at once and I don't plan to learn everything at once. So I'm, you know, taking in information that uh, makes sense to me, that resonates with me, and then applying it into my actual brand and my actual business. And then whatever adjustments I need to make, I make them. Um, I'm going to actually go into detail um, eventually on how many times I've had to change my so uh, social media marketing strategy and like feeling like, oh my God, I already, you know, have something solid. And then a couple months later, what I had just isn't working anymore. So girl, I just saw you. I'm going to add you. You quick. I will add you right back on Snapchat. Um... But yeah, that's all I came in to talk to you guys about. Uh, make sure you join me tomorrow for the I'm a Writer web uh, the I'm a Writer webinar. The link is in my bio. Um, download back to Kukrin to me. It's a free ebook. Once you download it, you get access to the webinar. All right. So I will talk to you guys later. Peace.